All right, so guys, what's next for Nate Diaz after the loss at UFC 263? Yeah, you know, where, do, where does Nate Diaz go from here? Does he retire? Do we give him another top fighter? You know, do we just make him a fun fight? You know, what, what do we do from here? My opinion is he should just go in a, in, a, in a fun fight. You know, he's been in the game in a long time. You know, he already fought all the top guys. He, he's been, you know, high and lows in his career. You know, he's on his way out. So the best option for him right now would be a fun fight with someone that's also on the way out. Nate Diaz is fighting. You already know it's going to be some blood, scars. It, it, once you fight with Nate Diaz, you know Nate Diaz is going to come out with a bunch of scars, you know, bleeding from his head. You know, Nate Diaz has been through all types of war, and that's his fighting style. Most of the fights we've seen Nate Diaz in has just been wars. And I'm pretty sure, you know, over time his body you know, is not going to be able to, you know, take all this damage that has that he's been doing to his body for his whole career, especially of his fighting style. Another person that reminds me of uh, just like Nate Diaz is, is Tony Ferguson, the 155 division. Tony Ferguson has also been in some wars. He's known for cutting people up. Tony Ferguson is known for being in wars. He's another person that's getting older in the UFC he's been in here for a long time he's on his way out too also on the end of his career he's not really in his prime still recent two losses three losses actually Justin uh, Oliveira you know we just saw his last fight also he's on his way out as well and I'm pretty sure the UFC is gonna cut Nate Diaz and and Tony Ferguson if they only lose like two more times if they even get an offer to fight two more times I say my opinion but Tony Ferguson versus Nate Diaz at 170 Tony Ferguson we know he can reach to 170 we've seen him fight at 170 before as, as well in his career because you know they're going to cut them both that would be you know the craziest thing ever uh, Nate Diaz versus a Tony Ferguson fight you already know it's not going to be a boring fight it's going to be a for sure war it's always a uh, it's always a war with those two guys, especially at their, their their end of their careers right now. I feel like that's the best fight for both of them. That'd be the best fight to make. All right, guys, that's my opinion. I feel like what they should do with Nate Diaz, because you don't want to see Nate Diaz go in there with, with another top guy, because, you know, we want to see him in a fun fight. You know, he's on the later end of his career. We want to see fun fights for Nate Diaz. We don't want to see, you know, boring fights. We don't want to see that wrestling. We, we You know, we just want to see war, you know. As a UFC fight fan, we want to see Nate Diaz in fun fights. We want to see Tony Ferguson in fun fights. They both have a big fan base, fan favorite when it comes to those two guys fighting. I feel like that would be the best for the UFC, for both of those guys. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment. Comment down below what you think, your opinions. And I'm out.